Hello, my name is Amelia and I am a biology teacher at Gulliver Prep in Miami, Florida. Every year, I travel to the Dutch Caribbean island of Bonaire with my field studies program where we focus on coral restoration. However, last year, I had the amazing opportunity to travel to the Galapagos Islands as part of the National Geographic Grovner's Teacher Fellowship Program. I was initially inclined to do my capstone project with an evolution motif, you know, Galapagos and Darwin. However, after visiting such magnificent islands, I wondered, why can't we protect our South Florida ecosystems the same way? A capstone project was born, Lessons from Galapagos and Bonaire. The project was part of our ecology unit and we began with a brief history of the Galapagos and Bonaire. We then discussed the flora and fauna found in these islands and determined whether they were endemic, native, endangered, or invasive. Finally, we discussed the management and conservation efforts of both places. My students enjoyed the stories and pictures I brought from my expedition to the Galapagos and were amazed at the beauty of the Bonaire coral reefs. Using their enthusiasm as a cue, I asked whether they have visited some of our South Florida ecosystems, such as the Everglades, the Pine Rocklands, the mangroves, or whether they have had the opportunity to snorkel or scuba dive the coral reefs that extend from the St. Lucie Inlet to the Dry Tortugas in the Gulf of Mexico. After much discussion, they all agreed that these local ecosystems needed our help, so the challenge was on. Students were then asked to select a local ecosystem, research their location, their flora, and their fauna, identify the threats, and come up with a comprehensive, feasible, and financially responsible plan to conserve this ecosystem using the Galapagos and Bonaire as their premier models for conservation. Over the course of three class periods, students researched their selected ecosystem, debated among themselves, and made phone calls to the national park services, local conservation organizations, environmental lawyers, and legislators. They presented their findings and conservation business plans in a formal research paper and an in-class presentation. Some of their plans included limiting the use of phosphorus-rich fertilizers and restoring the original flow from Lake Okeechobee, to conduct fundraisers to purchase Pine Rockland areas that are earmarked for development, to educate the PL public regarding the importance of mangroves as natural barriers, and to ban the use of oxybenzone sunscreens and restored seagrass areas to help reduce ocean acidification. My students realized that we have four amazing ecosystems around us and that they are worth saving. But the main lesson was realizing that human activity can be detrimental and that doing conservation work can be difficult, especially when people are not invested. Therefore, education and awareness regarding these ecosystems are key. Every state has a natural wonder in need of protection. Let the lessons from Galapagos and Bonaire be the inspiration and let your students lead the way. Thank you.